Hey everyone, it's Ryan here, and I'm going to be making a game review this time. It's been a long time since I've done one for this. Uh, this time I'm going to do South Park The Fractured But Whole, uh, which was a sequel to South Park Stick of Truth. Both games had sort of the same issues when coming out, they've been delayed for god knows how long. Um, eventually Ubisoft picked this one up, which is pretty cool. Um, so I thought Stick of Truth was brilliant, I thought that was hilarious. Um, Fractured But Whole, they changed the combat system, which at first I was a bit, like, uh, about, but it actually works really well, which I quite like. Uh, the story is even better than The Sick of Truth. Um, like, the thing with The Sick of Truth was sort of, I got all the references, because I used to watch South Park up to that point. With this, I sort of had to go back and have a look at them. Obviously, you've got, like, PC Principal, uh, the Member Berries, you've got, um, obviously, Raisins. Well, I think Raisins was an early one, anyway. Uh, Morgan Freeman works in a taco store. Um, essentially, it goes from being uh, like the whole Dungeons and Dragons thing. It now goes to superheroes. So you've got the Coon, you've got Human Kite, Mosquito. I thought was Stan for ages. It turns out it's Clyde. Uh, Craig is Silver Craig. Um, Tweak is Wonder Tweak. Uh, Kenny's Mysterion. Uh, Token is, I forgot what his name is, but he's like some robot, oh, like Tupperman or something like that, I can't remember. Um, and then you've got, uh, Jimmy is Fast Pass, or is like, I'll get this, 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 this quickly, uh, which is quite funny. Um, Stan is, I forgot what his fucking name is, he's like some drill person, I forgot what his name is though. Um, yeah, they all have their backstories. I think one of the bits that made me laugh the most was uh, Scott Malkinson as Captain Diabetes! Um, with Diabetic Grace! Um, so there's a bit we have to go into a strip club to look for Classy with an eye. <laughs> and then uh, you have to do like this lap dance minigame to get information. You have to basically find a way to get the DJ off the booth and uh, Scott Malkinson going there. It's okay, we've got some beautiful legs, go, here comes Classy! Uh, and uh, the other way is find out, which I'm not going to pronounce on this, but well, say pronounce, I'm not going to say in this video, but it's hilarious. Uh, I thought South Park Six Troopers brilliant, this one's even better. Like, I really, I hope to God they can actually make a third one because I just love these South Park games. Uh, there's a bit where you think it gets to the end, and it, it doesn't. Um, and it sort of keeps going a bit, and then you get to the eventual end. Mitch Connor shows up, which was hilarious. Uh, there's a nice twist at the end where, uh, obviously, Carmen's doing it for ages. I forgot to say, it's just Carmen's hand thing. There's a bit where uh, Carl's is like, You are Mitch Connor. You always been Mitch Connor. Stop fucking being Mitch Connor. He goes, Then how do you explain this? It's like on Kyle's hand instead. He goes, Ah, the blood thickens. Um, so, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. They bring in Jared some somewhere at some point. Uh, obviously, you got, like, fucking the ch child molester priest. You know, the story that's been going on for years. Um, what else have you have in there? Uh, I think that's pretty much... Well, I'm not saying that's pretty much it. But they literally have all sorts. They have the whole cops arrest black people because they're racist. It's like, oh, you think because we just go to black people that we're racist. But we do actually have one white guy in here and it's like Jared from Subway. Uh, and then it turns out the reason they've been arresting black people is because there's this underground beast called Shug, like Shug Nigger Off or something. Uh, which eats black people, like you have to sacrifice black people to appease it or something. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a brilliant game, I thought it was hilarious. I'm definitely going to give it a 9 out of 10. I really, really hope they make another one. Like, even the side quests were hilarious. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was a brilliant game. South Park, they know exactly what they're doing when it comes to a game like that. Uh, I, if you have played it, do let me know what you think of South Park The Fragile Behold and what you think of South Park The Stick of Truth. And I shall hopefully see you in the next one. Right. Bye.